currently we can see the routinization of the special military operation and it uh, is actually um, a good sign for the economy because uh, initially the russian ruble really depreciated so when we compare it to uh, to us dollar to euro but um, our governments made everything possible to stabilize the ruble, to stabilize the, econ the economy and to stop the panic. Uh, this is why in the medium and in the long run, uh, we will have to depreciate the ruble back to its initial levels, uh, to levels of probably January, when it was probably 70 to 80 rubles per dollar. This is probably uh, the medium threshold for the ruble, so we'll have to depreciate it by 20% in the medium run. Initially, uh, we appreciated the ruble. We bought all the necessary equipment uh, to produce most of the goods ourselves. And now we can um, depreciate it again. This is not a perfect strategy, but uh, any kind of strategy always depends on the realization on the medium and the long, uh, on the long term standing of our economy. But I think that it will work out in the end. Okay, that's very interesting. So, according to your analyze, the Russian Central Bank actually has a very strong say in the exchange rate of ruble according to the situation, not like uh, many experts have been predicted uh, previously. Lots of experts have been saying that Russia has to accept what the international market has to offer. So, when they say, we put a sanction on you, economy and on your currency and then you have to accept what's happening hearing what you say is like russia has all the dominance over the situation